Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamid Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the President of Turkmenistan, Gurban Guliberdi Mohamedov, with whom he reviewed the solid long standing relations between the two friendly countries. His Majesty lauded the efforts exerted by the President to consolidate and enhance cooperation between the two countries across various fields, wishing him further success. The President expressed appreciation and gratitude to His Majesty for the call, wishing Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. His Majesty also held a telephone call with the President elect of Turkmenistan, Sardar Berdi Mohamedov, on winning the presidential elections. His Majesty expressed sincere congratulations to the President elect, wishing him every success in carrying out his duties and achieving the aspirations of the friendly Turkmen people for more progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's keenness to further strengthen its good relations with Turkmenistan at all levels for the best interest of the two friendly peoples. The Turkmen president elect expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his congratulations and good feelings that reflect the depth of distinction of the bilateral relations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Royal Decree 13 of 2022 establishing and forming the Bahrain Council for Health Studies and Specialties. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 8 of 2022, amending some provisions of the municipality's law promulgated by Decree Law 35 of 2001. The National Guard Commander, His Highness General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met with the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Amran Khan. His Highness conveyed to the Prime Minister the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to Pakistan. The two sides exchanged views on means to develop bilateral ties in all fields, and His Highness hailed the high level of cooperation and exchange of expertise between the two sides. He affirmed to continue efforts towards enhancing bilateral ties for the benefit of both countries. They discussed topics of common concern and regional and international affairs. The Pakistani Prime Minister hailed the development of Bahrain in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty the King and commended the mutual cooperation and coordination between the two countries, especially in international forums for the interests of the two countries and the Islamic nation. The National Guard Commander thanked the Pakistani Prime Minister for the warm reception and generous hospitality, wishing the country progress, safety and stability. The meeting was attended by Bahrain Ambassador to Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed deepest thanks and gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for ratifying and issuing Law 7 of 2022 on the environment. His Highness stressed the importance of the new legislation in protecting the environment and bolstering its sustainability in line with the 2030 Bahrain Economic Vision, hailing His Majesty's far sighted vision supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He highlighted Bahrain's efforts to protect the environment and confront climate challenges, reiterating commitment to continue achieving desired goals. He commended the efforts of the legislative branch and the government, which contribute to finalizing the new law on the environment to be ratified and issued in line with international agreements and covenants signed by the kingdom. His Highness said that the new law assures in a new phase of national work to achieve sustainable development goals, protect the environment, and tackle climate challenges in Bahrain, reiterating the Council's keenness on implementing the legislation in cooperation with public and private parties. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with the employees of the GSA. Present were GSA Vice President, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and GSA CEO, Dr. Abdul Rahman Askar. His Highness conveyed to them the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and his wishes of success. He commended and expressed appreciation for their efforts in serving the sports sector in the kingdom and expressed hope to make more achievements that contribute to the development of the sports work system. The GSA CEO expressed thanks and pride to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for receiving them and for his continuous support to all programs adopted by the authority since its establishment. He pledged to continue developing the services provided by the authority to all sports institutions in the kingdom and to translate His Highness's vision to achieve the principles of sustainable development in the reform era of His Majesty the King.
The Council of Representatives, Speaker for the Yazanal, participated in the afforestation of the Mohammed bin Faris Park in the Southern Governorate as part of the National Afforestation Campaign for Evergreen. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development announced the launch of an afforestation campaign in the park in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, and the Supreme Council for the Environment. The national campaign, launched under the patronage of Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, and chairperson of the advisory board of the National Initiative for the Development of the Agricultural cultural sector, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, comes as a response to the aspirations of residents and with the follow-up of the Representatives Council Speaker to complete the park's development project. The Minister of Works, Engineer Assam Khalaf, affirmed that the Ministry is keen on providing all the necessary support to aid the success of the Forever Green campaign, hailing the efforts of the National Initiative. The Secretary General of the National Initiative, Sheikh Maram bint Isa Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the continuous cooperation with the various public and private sectors. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the King Hamad University Hospital launched a national campaign for early detection of colorectal cancer in coordination with the Ministry of Health, the National Committee for the Control of Chronic Non-Communicable Diseases, and Primary Health Care Centers. The SCH President inaugurated the campaign activities in the presence of the Minister of Health, Faiq al Saleh, senior officials, spe specialist doctors, and participants in the campaign. The campaign is an awareness campaign that aims to to urge those over the age of 45 to participate and benefit from it to ensure their health and be aware to the importance of early detection and diagnosis. The activities of the first NFT exhibition in the Middle East and North Africa region, NFT MENA Exhibition 2022, which is hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, was held under the kind patronage of the President of the National Council of Arts, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The exhibition comes in cooperation with Dar al Fan and its works will continue until Friday, March the 18th at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel. The exhibition includes organizing a number of discussion sessions that will be presented by a number of speakers from the public and private sectors, and they will address a number of issues related to technology and art, specifically NFT. Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa expressed pleasure that the Kingdom of Bahrain is hosting the first exhibition of artworks using the NFT technology in the Middle East and North Africa, and a major event in the region that constitutes opportunities for local artists to exchange experiences and cooperate with international artists, which is in line with the sound vision of His Majesty the King in supporting the sectors of creativity and innovation, along with the interest and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. I'm very happy to be uh, here today and uh, really um, because of uh, His um, Majesty's directions uh, to promote art and uh, uh, His Royal Highness, uh, the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, uh, dedication to, um, to improve Bahrain's economy and culture and for ha having this event here. Uh, in Bahrain, uh, it gives me a, a great pleasure to see uh, so many artists uh, in, the, in this metaverse uh, event that I know very little so far about, but I'm trying to learn because I'm used to the traditional art and it's amazing how uh, uh, the world has changed, was changing every day. Uh, we have to adapt. We have to adapt to the new technology. We have to adapt to what's coming new, and uh, we have to embrace it because uh, this is the, the the world how the world evolved. And uh, the, what's amazing also is to see so many of them, so many participants, and so many people are have booked to come and visit and see the exhibition. It's very very comforting and uh, very promising.
Bahrain International Circuit is preparing to host the inaugural race of the exceptional season of Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2022 from the 18th to the 20th of March. The Bahrain Grand Prix will be an opportunity for motorsport enthusiasts to follow the competitions in addition to the launch of a number of support races. Bahrain International Circuit will also witness a full schedule of entertainment events. As Bahrain International Circuit gears up for the biggest and much anticipated sporting event of the year, McLaren hosted an exclusive Q&A event with McLaren superstar racer Lando Norris titled Audience with McLaren and attended by the McLaren Racing Team. More on this report with Yasmin Ibrahim. New cars, new rules, new driver lineups, Formula One is back this weekend and it all starts with a Bahrain Grand Prix where the world's best drivers come together for a once-in-a-generation event. And with the F1 fever gripping the kingdom, the McLaren regional headquarters opened its doors for an exclusive Q&A event with racing superstar Lando Norris. For us today is a, is a fantastic opportunity to show our partnership with McLaren Racing. Uh, as McLaren Automotive, they are you know, a, a family member, if I could say that. Um, and today we've had an opportunity to bring Lando in. Uh, unfortunately, Daniel couldn't be with us, um, uh, along with Mark, Mark Norris, and uh, share a little bit about the exciting season ahead. Uh, if we look back at 2021, a fantastic year for McLaren. Uh, finished fourth in, in the Constructors' Championship, uh, and I think we're optimistic for 2022, uh, an exciting year. So for sure, like this is our home turf, like Bahrain is our home turf. We are also lucky that Bahrain Grand Prix will uh, uh, kick off the season of uh, such a fabulous sport that actually getting more and more fans day by day. Uh, we all have seen the last season uh, excitement uh, and I'm sure like it, this season will not be less excitement with the new era. Um, uh, that also reflected on our automotive part. Uh, we are also expecting a a fantastic new product here and I'm sure that Bahrain will be one uh, of the first market globally to see it which is the Artura our uh, first V6 hybrid car uh, supercar that actually going to be introduced uh, soon to the market and the Bahraini market will be one of the first uh, in the world to receive this car since its inception the F1 Bahrain Grand Prix has been marked as one of the region's biggest sporting occasions and the whole country has once again been delighted to welcome teams and fans back to the kingdom. This year's Bahrain Grand Prix will be the opening round of the 2022 FIA F1 World Championship and it will usher in a new era in the top flight from the 18th to the 20th of March at the home of motorsport in the Middle East in Sghir. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. With the start of the Formula One race, the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority announced the establishment of its own area at Bahrain International Airport, where the authorities team receives incoming tourists to introduce them to their tourist destinations and recreational activities in Bahrain. The CEO of the BTEA, Dr. Nasser Qaidi, said that a specialized and trained team of the authorities' cadres will take over the task of receiving tourists, answering their questions, and providing them with the necessary instructions. He added that the authorities' area will take into account the best designs that reflect the diversity and richness of the tourism sector in Bahrain.